That's right, a nerd. Testing one, two, three. You can hear me because I have a microphone. Okay. Mm. Tight the core, butt cheeks in. Mm. Mm. Shoulders back, head tilted slightly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do a special uh, topic uh, talking about uh, top five of... Um, yeah, one of the questions we get the most and maybe dislike, it's not that we dislike it, but what are your favorite tea? Or what's your favorite tea? Or what are your favorite teas? So we right. thought we'd cover that today. And by going into, instead of our favorite tea, because it's a little bit narrow and it's yeah. really hard to decide, we thought let's expand it a little bit mm -hmm. and we'll do our top five teas for her and your top five teas for me. Mm. And something that we think we would recommend for people who is more just getting into teas or uh, more experienced and there's some good space to expand the uh, experience. Yeah, absolutely. We did a little bit of coordination because we might have duplicates. It turns out we didn't. We wanted to make sure we had lots of variety in our selection. Mm -hmm. And then it also kind of was leaning in that direction anyway, because I'm newer to the whole tea experience. So I right. tended to gravitate towards those and she's really fancy. So <laughs> let's check them out. Yeah. In no particular order. Um, and I have to lead with this because when I'm asked that terrible question what is your favorite tea which is right. like picking your favorite kid right i always say shui xian so i'm going to start with lead with shui xian why is it my favorite tea oh my god rock tea first of all when i drank it it wasn't it's not super subtle right mm. you can really taste uh the it's got bold flavors mm. they're really interesting so you've got those dark chocolate um, tobacco, the granite mineral mineraliness. Uh, I just love <laughs> Shuixian. And you know what I think is interesting about Shuixian that I learned over time as I got more and more into tea and on the 2019 tea trip, I got to experience Shuixian is a, uh, unlike a lot of other, well, unlike all other oolong tea, it's not a bush, it's a tree. So it gives it a different sort of depth. Mm -hmm. that sometimes the trees can get very old which gives right. you an element of age shui xian and stuff. So there's lots of places to go you with shui xian. Both ends. Because mm. regular shui xian bush is kind of like a, the weed of tea kind of a, in yeah. the region. Like very it's pedestrian, not right? Yes, it's right. very pedestrian. It's yeah. everywhere. But on the other hand, it can also go pretty like a, a high end or mm. pretty rare when it gets to the age of the plant. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a great tea to get into. How about your number one? <laughs> I didn't, many people know that it's not any surprise. Like for me, if I have to drink one tea for the rest of my life, <gasps> it's awful. But if that <laughs> happens, it's definitely Tie Guan Classic. Mm. There's no question there. And it's not just the Tie Guan Classic, it's our Tie Guan Classic. Just to be specific, because they taste quite different. Mm. You know, even though the, you might find something like looks similar, but that taste is very important. It has the most feel, most important, it has the most feel I like. It has the lingering power, the thickness, and mm. it's still like um, very aromatic. It has that lovely that we call Guan Yin Yun that I can really find there. Um, as many of you know, I'm not a big fan of like green oolongs and uh, green tea Guan Yin is also not uh, something that I personally gravitate towards. Yep, not on this list. Right. But for those of you who has been drinking tea and love Wulong and has some experience with Wulong, uh, experience with Wulong, like this is a tea that you must try. Mm. In my opinion, it's really, really great. But uh, if, uh, you know, for a green tea drinker or a new like a, a green Wulong drinker, I, I don't think you would necessarily love this tea like I do. Yeah. But you should still try it because it's really highly, it's very possible yeah. you might. It's it just, just going to be so different. Yeah. yeah. And it's very accessible. Mm, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. My next tea is um, on my favorite list because it is so, just so darn drinkable. Doesn't matter how you brew it. Um, I find any time of day I can enjoy this tea. Uh, super accessible. It's a black tea. 
So I don't know if people uh, <laughs> no, who are... I know are, which one it is. You know, right? It's Kimen traditional. <laughs> it's not every morning, but very often. Mm. If he gets Love up... Love it. Or first, that's almost the tea we would drink yeah. in the uh, teapot. And, um, yeah. yeah, and it, I love that because you can brew it in a gaiwan. In mm -hmm. fact, I did just today. Fantastic in a gaiwan. You can toss it in a teapot and brew it in a Western style. It brews up fantastic. Mm. Uh, it rem it reminds me of my pre tea. What before I was deep into tea, it's really got that tea element, but it also has what I've learned about tea, which is that clean, clean mouthfeel and sweetness. There's no nothing too funky happening. It's just a mm -hmm. really bright, clear, great, and really easy to yeah. brew. You don't yeah, have to dead easy, too much. dead easy to brew. Yeah, yeah. It overbrew a little bit. It is not going to be bitter astringent. It's very forgiving. Love that tea. I don't know. I can just drink it all day and all night. <laughs> the only thing I haven't tried with it is iced, which maybe this summer I'll do. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Right. I guess moving on to towards my second one. Yes. Maybe we'll bounce. Maybe <laughs> my we'll bounce. My choice is a really right. personal <laughs> preference base. So my category seems to be quite narrow because this is another <laughs> Wulong tea. Uh, yes, I love uh, Wulong tea, and uh, this one is um, Feng Huang Dan Tong from Wudong Mountain. Mm. So we label that as uh, Wudong Dan Tong. Uh, I know many people, and myself included, not a big fan of uh, uh, Feng Huang Dan Tong for its overly uh, perfumey or overly kind of aromatic. Booming aromatic. Yeah, mm. sometimes it's like a, it's like a punch on. Faced by that yeah. uh, uh, perfume, but it's yeah. a tea. Or when you go into a department store and the ladies are, pss, 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 I know. right? The it's same, kind of, same. Yeah. So a lot of times I actually don't drink much of a uh, uh, danton, but uh, udon danton is, uh, mm. I I just love it because again I don't like anything that is overly aromatic. I need, but I also need the aroma to pick me up. And most mm. importantly for me, the tea has to have a mouth feel mm. that is sick. It has to have when I wow. hold the mouth, when I breathe out through my nose, or after I sip it for a long time, I need that depth of taste, the lingering power. And Wudong Danton definitely have that something. And something unique in that taste that nowhere else can duplicate. Yeah. So Agree. That's very mm. like, you drink that, I know that's a Wudong Danton. Mm -hmm. And uh, you drink that, you don't feel like it's, uh, it's uh, something that uh, is overpowering or too much or unpleasant. Again, very balanced and mm. so delightful. And that thickness is just, yeah, just so mind blowing. It's yeah. actually, it is one of my favorite, uh, Dance, no, it is my favorite dance song yeah, as well, for sure. Yeah. Mm. So moving along. Mm -hmm. So my next one is another favorite and another place I got to visit in 2019. Uh, it is a white tea and it is a Bai Mudan. Uh, Bai Mudan white tea. And it's, I have a white tea on my list, yeah. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yes. And in general, in particular, the one I'm thinking of when I wrote that is our... the. Uh, 100 gram cake i think it's 100 50 mm. 50 100 anyway it's the cake that we have of bai mudan mm. a little bit embarrassing that i forgot that but anyway why bai mudan why not bai hao Gen? why i pick bai mudan because i love the again the balance of strikes you've mm. got those buds first the pro uh the maker um shifu and shatai um as i sometimes tell people that was my first exposure to white tea and it wrecked white tea for me now i taste white tea and i'm like oh that's pretty good and you know, um, I'm pretty much just being polite. They are, their white tea processing skills are through the roof. And we got to see that firsthand. So, and then with the Bai Mudan, it brings those, you've got that bud, the delicate, the sweet, the, the liveliness of spring, but you've got the body from the leaf with the more floral and, and a, bit, a bit more um, s substance and fullness coming out. I mean, I just love that balance. Don't get mm. me wrong, love Bai Hao Yin Zhen, love Shou Mei, but if I ha I'm picking favorites, I'm gonna go with the Bai Mudan because I kind of want the best of both worlds. Right. Boom. Great right, tea. Right. Mine is aged tea. Oh. I like it. Uh, so right now I we have only guess. the uh, Shoumei as aged tea, but mm. in general, I really love a good aged tea. Right. And the white tea as an aged one is so soothing. Mm. 
Right. And it's uh, so uh, it's sweet but not sweet. That's something I like.、Mm. That is,、uh, how should I say? That reminds me of a sweetness, but、uh, in the mouth, just to talk about the sugar level, there's nothing there as a sweet. Right. So I kind of like that. Uh, element of the aged shupuar, uh, shupuar, of the aged、uh, shoumei we have, right? And、um, actually appears on a lot of、uh, aged tea that kind of a、uh, uh, more dried fruity note, right? That sort that of I... almost a hint of date, but not that pure sweet,、mm. but that that hint of that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I really like that. Just a little,、um, a little thing about white tea because it's often said, "Oh, it's the simplest process," but that should not be mistaken to mean that it's simple to execute. It's just the least. It's just a lesser step. That's but right. But every step is still skillful.、It's、And not... very, very delicate these steps,、mm. right? Because you don't have much room for recovery. If you want to twist that less steps on its end, think about it as you only get one chance to nail this. Right. And very delicate process. They just knock it out of the park. Try.、Yeah. Can I come? Continue. Yes, you go ahead. Go ahead.、Okay. Keep rolling. We don't have to have an order. <laughs> Because I was talking about the tasting notes of the sweet days and dry, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. dry like a pro、oh. or those.、Uh, because the next two teas I chose are also HT. Because again, I'm really big on the most feel.、Uh, right. That's what I like.、Uh, not saying I don't want aroma. It has to has an aroma. Um, it's just I don't need a booming aroma.、Mm-hmm. I don't want to walk into the room. I smell the tea aroma. That's、mm-hmm. definitely not my tea.、Um, You're okay with subtlety. I need subtlety, and I love subtlety. Is when I smell that, I like that I cannot put fingers of、uh, on the、uh, tasting notes、mm-hmm. aroma. I like. I love the complexity. I love the soupy, like a brothy mouth feel,、right. and the depths of that. So. The next two teas I chose is、um, both、uh, both are aged teas. Okay. Okay. One is again oolong. <laughs> Another oh, oolong.、Okay. So I really love the Aijiao oolong two thousand two that we、mm. have. It could be the perfect、uh, example of like the perfection of production.、Mm. It has been、Definitely. like eighteen years old. Never needed to reuse because、mm-hmm. the original process was so perfect.、Mm. The aging was just、uh, amazing, and、um, just the mouth feel. And you know, sometimes、uh, when you taste some,、uh, how should I say? A, a lot of times, people feel like when it's aged oolong or something, that the, they have to look super dark when you drink it. It's almost like <laughs> drinking mold. Oh boy! Yeah,、like、I know a, what you mean. I know that flavor. You know that kind that of a, dusty.、Um, that's a、mm-hmm. false impression about what an aged tea should look,、uh, should taste like.、Mm. Those are all just a bad storage.、Mm. But this tea will change your mind of how、mm. a real, properly aged、mm. oolong should taste like.、Mm. And my next one, why I, I I will explain why I have to link them because no, it makes sense. Ne- it makes sense. Right. And my next one is a shenpuar, a gu shu shenpuar from、uh, mm. 1999.、Oh、It's one of our supreme tea. I know that in terms of the price, it's a little bit high, but the、yeah. good same with this one is gonna refresh a lot of people's mind about aged tea. I know there are like aged tea, aged pour from 60s, 70s, 80s. It doesn't matter. When、you try this tea, you will know how the aged shenpuar or、uh, mm. aged pour would look like in their years and stuff. Right. There's too many impression about how an aged tea should taste like,、right. which is just wrong because it just tastes like mold. That's not how a good tea、right. or despite its age should taste like. And because both are aged and about the、uh, the oolong. The Aijiao Oolong and the Shenpuar both are in that zone. In the two nineteen ninety two to two thousand two is like three years difference. Both in that twenty years old ish that zone.、Mm-hmm. So the, you will start to notice the late nineties. Late nineties. That was nineteen ninety nine. Ninety nine ish. Okay, I thought you said ninety two to two thousand two. Ninety nine to two thousand two. Same zone. Got you. Right. Got you. So that in this kind of a rough sand zone, then you start to see when the tea ages. There's a lot of similarity despite the uh oh yes despite the、mm. category, right? Yeah. So、uh, that's an interesting fun element. If 
Yes. Anytime you want to do side by side tastings or pairings, like you can see how the age minimizes the category difference, yes. but it accentuates the the time similarity. Yes, right? the, and also tea, no matter which cultivar uh, yes. varietal, is still tea. Right. That's yeah. That I blew think, my mind when we when we started to notice that. Well, how the our eyes started to notice how they converge as mm, they age. It was like yes. whoa. Yeah, so I think that was a really good. Okay, I'm done my part. So that was your <laughs> age role, right? Age Shomei, aged Oolong Aijiao, yeah. and uh, aged Shimpuvar. Awesome. So let's take it to mini aged Me. and sticking with puar all right one of my favorites is again uh is a shoe puar from 2015. Mm. we got um small cakes 100 gram cakes xiaobing of shu and shen puar from 2015. both are phenomenal and i really love both but i had mm. to narrow this down to five and i almost put both but I was like, and I love the Shempuar too, and the, obviously the older it gets, the better it gets, but these are both really, really beautifully processed Puar, and they're both fun. The Shu Puar, I just like, we have that a lot, because Shu Puar <laughs> is our go-to evening tea. Yeah. So just as I brew the Keem in really often in the morning as a wake-up tea in a pot. That's the evening tea. Really often, tea. yeah, you'll find us as the sun goes down at the tea table, brewing up Shu Puar, um, and a lot of times it's a 2015 it will, uh, Xiaobing. Mm. Really calming for me. I've, I've, some of other Shu Puars, I have to be a little bit careful. Sometimes they get a little, a little too lively because I don't usually drink tea. Right. Uh, I gotta be careful which teas I drink in the evening. But this 2015 Shu Puar um, is grown really near to my heart. Early days when we got it, uh, the first, or the, we got it in 2016, I wanna say. Mm -hmm. So, and you can take, I can taste. 2015 autumn. Right. That's usually my, our. Uh, okay, so we winter. got it the year of. Yeah. Okay, so we got it the year it was produced, and it's been really fun to taste it, so, to taste the aging. Uh, subtle, subtle changes year over year, but if I go all the way back to 2015 and jump to 2020, a noticeable step forward in the aging. So, it's a great mm -hmm. one to grab it and drink now. I love it. But I'm also, we also grab a little bit, we tuck that away. Mm. And I'm really interested to see how that's going to taste in 10 years, 15 years, like further down the road. So just a really uh, fun tea for every night. And mm. has got some interesting side stories or whatever <laughs> to say about it. And to wrap up my, my final favorite green tea. Oh, it's kind of theme. We kind of fell into this. So we're so totally, um, my last one is still on the Puar theme, kind of coincidentally. I didn't even realize that till just now. Right, right. But it is Dian Lu Pan Fired. So that is... <laughs> it's not hard to guess what's a tea on his list. It's basically what we drink the most. Yeah every day yeah. this and is another morning tea we drink yeah it's a pretty it's a really lively morning tea the pan it's got that nice the aroma is more provoked because of mm -hmm. the pan fire i love that i honestly green tea is even though it's a lot of people's favorite type of tea it doesn't sit in my regular drinking regime very much it's just not what i gravitate towards naturally but with Dian Lu Pan Fired, I actually am drawn to it. I really love that tea. It's a really rich tea, I would yes, say. Yes, I think that really tree. Yes. If yeah. you like, you're somebody who feel like a green tea is very light, and mm. you don't see, especially Chinese green tea, how it's uh, all those uh, little buds, and you feel like you're paying a good amount of money for <laughs> not much of the taste. Wow, you know? she's really <laughs> nailing it. That's exactly. <laughs> we do festivals. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I think this is a green tea that is a first a price point good for every day mm, definitely drink. Mm. and uh, it's really rich again it made from the poor cultivar so as uh, in terms of the substance it has much more than the uh, uh, usual green tea plant which yeah, are absolutely. more bush based mm -hmm. so that give it a really uh, rich you could even use get away with less leaves to brew that if you like that lighter yes taste. if you prefer it to the lighter side yeah. i'm she kind of nailed my personality type <laughs> and i guess it, if you look over the list you will see i'm into those more bold profiles uh subtlety maybe isn't my bag but um yeah <laughs> so that's my that's my list of my five favorite mm. teas do you owe us one still no i finished you finished too okay well that is our list of five our top five favorite teas so mm. And maybe share with us what's your top five favorite teas mm -hmm. or what are the teas you think we should try out. 
Yeah, I would love that actually. Let us know what you think we're, was missing from our palette. We'd love to have some suggestions. Absolutely. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you'll know whenever we release a new video. Until next time. Keep, keep steeping. steeping. Coincidence? I think not. What does that mean? It's a pop culture thing. I'll explain that later. I know a Korean dancer and singer who does that. There's a mic there. Oh. And she dances like that. What Asian a weirdo. Culture. You will not know. No, I wouldn't understand that. I, I gotta show you the video. Mine comes from Saturday Night Live. Lord, Mine comes Lord from... Michaels does that and then Wayne's were Wayne and... No, Dr. Evil. So he doesn't have a mic. One million dollars! No, he doesn't. I'll show you the clip. It's really hilarious. I'll show you the Korean clip. Yeah, I'm sure mine's better. She's also an actor. Anyway.